Hey guys, what is up? Today I have a little video here for you about the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge off-grid battery case by Incipio. Now I have this on my S6 Edge right now, and let me start off by saying that this case is really good, but it has a share of downfalls. Now let me tell you why I love it so much. Let's take this off just so I can show you guys a little bit better. Now this is a 3700 milliamp hour uh, battery charging case which probably gets you about another probably another full charge it also has a nice little micro SD card storage where you can uh, place it in a micro SD card and it'll, you can uh, take the files and look at them and but you can't really store anything on there from your phone or I mean you can but it's basically it's more for moving stuff onto it than using stuff from it you know it's basically so you can have it with you, but you're you, it's not so you can ha use it a lot, you know. And that's demonstrated when you plug it in, and when you oh, let's see here, yeah, flick this switch over here to that side, and it'll should bring up the there it goes the Incipio file browser, and basically it gives you the usage, the cloud, all that stuff, and it basically gives you up to 128 gigabytes of more uh micro uh well more storage so you can expand it and uh, put whatever you need to put on there now the biggest gripe that i have with this case and it's not just this case it's basically every a single other battery case that's ever been made by it, whether it be incipio mofi whoever there's a huge problem with these cases as i will show you it's really <laughs> Uh, there's really the way these are made it's really a hard problem to fix you know these cases are really thick you know they're really thick i mean they have to house another battery so they're extremely thick okay here we got 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 that. okay yeah yeah got it mm -hmm. but one of the biggest complaints that i have with this case is it offers almost no protection on it as you can see around here there's really very minimal protection, as you can see right there, barely anything covering it. That's pretty bad, especially considering the fact that this case is so big and so expensive, and it's so... It's definitely not a case that I would recommend you pay full price for. Mainly for that one big gripe. It offers almost no protection from any fall. Like, if this were to fall face first, it's done. It's completely done. But these cases aren't made for that. They're made to give you extra battery life and to double your storage or double, quadruple, whatever storage you have to add more storage, basically. One other complaint I have about this case is that right there. You see that port? There's almost no way to fit some headphone jacks into there, which is, I mean, with the Samsung one that comes with it and uh, the Apple one that's, that, uh, that you can get, they're completely straight, so if you use those on a daily basis, you'll be fine. But I have a pair of Bose IE2s, and I love those. But the only problem is I always have to have the extender on them, because if not, they can't fit in here. They can't go into there just by themselves, and that can get really annoying at times. Also, one thing I don't understand about this case is it charges the phone and then the case, but it doesn't keep charging the phone at night. So let me explain. I can, let's say the battery is dead on both things. Let's say the battery just died on the phone and there's no juice left in the case, which has happened before. So I take it and I leave it charging all night. I'll wake up with the case fully charged, but the only problem is that my phone will charge fast to the point where it'll die throughout the time that the, that the, that the case is charging. So that's why I wake up with the case fully charged, but my phone at 80%, 75%, depending on how fast the, it charged up, and it'll just basically lose power throughout the night because it's, it doesn't keep charging the phone itself. It just charges the case. It just keeps charging the case, which kind of gets me a little bit upset since, I mean, shouldn't it keep charging it once it starts to die down, which I don't understand really. But... Other than that, this is a really good battery case. I mean, I, I love it. I've been using it for a while now, for a, about a good month or two. And the only problem that I... I don't understand this. I don't know if this is with all battery cases, but here in the box, it boasts 
37 million, 3,700 milliamp hours of uh, battery in it. I feel like I haven't done a full test on it, but I feel like it doesn't charge it up to 100%, you know? Because I've had it at points where it's at 50%, I charge it up to 100, and I'm all, and the indicator only says that it has one of these left, 25% left, when it should say it still has half left. I don't understand that, but I mean, I guess, I don't know. I haven't charged it enough all the way to, uh, to see exactly how much it charges, but I mean, but these are definitely useful, you know? The S6 and the Edge also have always had the problem with the very low battery life. And this, I can say, is a good case to fix that problem. Now, over here, you can just click this little button, bring up the four indicators, and it'll tell you exactly how much battery is left. Or you can press and hold it, and it'll start charging your phone, as you can see right there. Now, the fast char the the wireless charging doesn't work through the case, so you have to take it off and put it on. But I really don't see another problem with that. I just thought that'd be important to mention. And uh, that's about it all. And also, I can't really get my finger in there to do the the heart rate sensor, so it's kind of hard to do it like this i always have to end up turning my phone like this and put doing it from like sideways as you can see right there and that kind of gets annoying at times but other than that that's really that's really my only gripe oh one last thing let me show you guys this if i can i don't know if i'll be able to reach okay this is my charging okay so i plug this into here and this isn't true with all chargers it's just this one if i pick up let's say it's lying down and i pick up my phone all it takes is a little tug. A little tug. I, I wasn't even pointing. Okay. Ready? Ready? Look. I only have to do is push it up a little bit. And it. Because, I mean, it's tugging a little bit. But it's. None of. That shouldn't happen with these cases. I feel like that. That's just a little bit too loose. And it doesn't happen with all chargers. But just the one that's included with my S6 Edge. But other than that. I mean, I only paid $60 for it. I got it on eBay. And I only paid $60 for it. I really wouldn't recommend paying the full hundred dollars for it. I don't. I'm not. I definitely don't think it's worth one hundred dollars. I definitely think it was worth sixty. I definitely think it's worth. I mean, if you need one, I definitely. I, I. It's probably worth eighty, but a hundred is stretching it. And I honestly feel like you could get a really good case for a hundred dollars. So I think that if if they improved it a little bit, maybe add more protection, maybe. Increase the battery life, my battery a little bit. Maybe I've always had this idea of putting like having something in there that'll bring it out a little bit more, like having a little extender, but that's already built into there. I don't know, but if they added that to it, I would honestly easily pay a hundred dollars for it. I just love this case, and I would love to see some improvements come to it. So, well, that's all for now. Have a great day.